Thank you for listening, and today I would like to discuss the effects of feeding rumen protected lysine on cows during the transition period and how that affects liver function and immune function. And so the take home message for this experiment was that feeding rumen protected lysine prepartum allowed for a lesser acute phase and immune response postpartum and enhanced liver function. And so first I'd like to start off with an overview of the poster. And then I'd like to go into individual aspects of this so that we can see it a little clearer. And so first I'd like to start with the introduction and the materials and methods. And so lysine is often most limiting for amino acid for dairy cows. And we can increase the intestinal supply of this lysine via rumen protected lysine, which allows it to reach the small intestine and bypass the rumen. And then utilization of this lysine has the capacity to increase indispensable and dispensable amino acid utilization, and therefore properly balancing amino acids during the transition period may reduce stress on the liver and allow for a smoother transition from gestation to lactation. Additionally, reduced stress can also lead to decreased inflammation. And so now going into the materials and methods, we took blood samples for phagocytosis and oxidative burst and used whole blood for these analyses. These samples were taken at negative 14, negative seven days prior to calving and seven and 14 days after calving. Samples were also taken for blood for analysis of blood metabolites and those samples were taken at negative seven, negative one days prior to calving, day zero, which was calving and then seven and 14 14 and 28 days after calving. We had a two by two factorial arrangement of treatments in which cows were either with or without lysine prepartum or with or without lysine postpartum. And so cows without lysine prepartum had the treatment of C and cows with lysine prepartum had the treatment of L. And so after calving, cows either stayed in their original treatment or crossed over to the other treatment. This led with treatment arrangements of either CC, which was without calving pre and postpartum, CL, which was without lysine prepartum and with lysine postpartum, LC, which was with lysine prepartum and without lysine postpartum, or LL, which was with lysine pre and postpartum. And now I'd like to go into the objective of this study, which was to determine the effects of feeding rumen protected lysine prepartum postpartum, or both on blood metabolites related to immune and liver function. And so now I'd like to uh, briefly discuss the results. And so I will stay on this page initially, and then some of the figures I'll make a little bit bigger. Um, this one that I would like to point out is the bottom right-hand figure, which is AST plasma concentrations were less in cows that were consuming lysine prepartum and they were less in the concentrations postpartum. This indicates that there was a um, greater immune function at the in, during postpartum when cows consume lysine prepartum. And now looking at some of the figures a little bit bigger, we see that there was a greater oxidative burst capacity in monocytes on day seven after calving and cows that consume lysine prepartum, which was depicted by a tendency for a pre by days relative to calving interaction. Additionally, phagocytosis in monocytes was less postpartum when cows consume lysine postpartum. And this may indicate that um, cows did not have to amount the same immune response that cows in control did. This is further elucidated by the plasma concentrations in haptoglobin pre and postpartum. And plasma concentrations of haptoglobin prepartum were greater at day zero or calving for cows that were not consuming lysine. And this carried over to uh, a pre by post by days relative to calving interaction for haptoglobin in which it was still greater at day seven after calving, which further elucidates that cows that were in the control diet without lysine were having a large acute phase response to the transition period. 
And so overall conclusions of this study are that consumption of intestinally available lysine prepartum enhances liver function postpartum and increase the oxidative burst ca capacity of monocytes. This decreased inflammation and thereby allowed for a reduced inflammatory and acute phase response in cows. <laughs>